What's up everybody, it's your man J Phil. In this video, we're gonna show you how to use a free app and just your keyboard, just in case you don't have any drum machine, no controller at all, just your computer keyboard. So let's get into it. If this is your first time, let me say welcome, shout out your city, shout out your weapon of choice, and please consider subscribing if you are into beat making videos and hit that notify bell. That way you are updated on all new content. Back to the video. This video right here comes as request because someone had asked me, what if I don't have a drum machine? I still want to be able to use your core book or your scale book and all that kind of stuff. And that's cool. So we'll get to that in a moment. but. First of all, let me show you what you're looking at right now is Koala. This is the desktop version. I've talked about it before. If you have a Mac, you are in luck. If you don't, I'm sorry. I don't know if this, at the time of this video, it's available for PCs. But if you have a Mac, you just go to the Mac store, go to your app store, type in Koala sampler. See, actually it has an update and I haven't even updated it yet. Let's go ahead and update. So we just updated it. It looks like I have a bigger screen, which is cool. Right now I have my computer keyboard, just this, my computer keyboard. When I play these notes, they correspond in four by four formation. So for example, and I got drums pulled up on Koala. See this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Y'all see that? So it's in four by four. So pad one would be the letter Z, pad 16, number four. Y'all get what I'm saying? So you can use that to your advantage. <laughs> and we're gonna show you why. So for example, let's say I wanted to just, you know, play a beat, right? I'm just using my keyboard, man. No drum machine. You know what? While we at it, let's just go ahead and sequence a beat because some of y'all like, how can I use this, man? How can I do this? What I love about Koala is you can just drag in drum samples. All of us have drum samples. You can drag them in these pads and they're there. You can go ahead and sample them, crop them, all that good stuff. And I'm using my mouse, my trackpad. Let's pick this first sequence and uh, let's just get some in. Let's quantize just the shaker first real quick. Notice the keys I'm using. Here we go. All right, cool. Let's add a kick drum. We'll take quantize off. And I want that metronome to be louder. So we'll go to settings, metronome volume, go to audio. There you go. And let's go ahead and copy this sequence over here. And then we'll just add it on to it. cool add another sequence we're just dragging look how simple this is <laughs> we're gonna add a sample so let's go to sample our sample page and let's find an empty bank let's go to bank a and we're gonna drag in why not a ukulele sample <laughs> boom this comes from Phil loops five and it's in there man see that man Let's do let's use that. You know what? Um, I kind of want to change the key. Let's change the key and go maybe two semitones up. But since that did that, it sped it up. So what we're gonna do is use time stretch. So let's go ahead, hit stretch. So now it should still work. Another thing is we need to turn on one shot so it plays like that. Let's try it. Here we go. Cool. 
so that worked out. So let's drag this sequence, put it here. So now we have a total of four sequences. And what we're going to do on this fourth sequence is add a baseline. Now, this is the part where people was asking me, how can I use this if I don't have a drum machine? It's all good. So let's go to our bank where I have my bases at. I have a previous video talking about how I did this on the SP404 Mark II. It's the same concept. You're going to take a bunch of notes and sample them in order, chromatic order. When you get all those notes, you just place them in pads starting from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way up to 16. 16 being your highest note, one being your lowest note. So let me go to another bank because that's what I basically did here. Play a bunch of notes in order on a keyboard. If you don't have a keyboard, I show you the exact website I used <laughs> where you can sample the notes onto your computer. And you can do that on here. Then you just chop them up, which I already did, and put them on these pads, right? So you could do this the long way or the fast way. The fast way would be the auto chop, but like, for example, let's say you wanted to copy this and then just use this second note. You know what I'm saying? So now you have, let's throw this here. All right, so you got, and let me edit this, get that a little closer, right? And just go all the way with the, you know, the separate, that would be the long way. Or of course you could just use auto chop by going here, auto chop, right? And go by transients or, or lazy chop, you know, as it plays, you just, the little red tag so you could do that so I already did that so I'm gonna cancel out of that so now let's figure out what we want to use as a baseline now if you listen to the sample it has a bass note in it it's the lowest note I'm not a singer so I apologize All right, so I'm gonna I'm listen for that note. Right here. This note or this note, which is an octave lower. So I'm gonna call this my home key or root note, whatever note this is. So now I'm going to go to the ebook and I appreciate you guys supporting this book. So I'm gonna use the 16 pass scale manual and I'm gonna show you exactly the scale that I'm gonna use, man. I appreciate everybody supporting y'all. Y'all been really, man, I <laughs> appreciate it. I will leave a link down below. So let's break this down. So since we've established this note, which is pad two as our main key, we're gonna pick a scale. And again, my favorite scale is the pentatonic minor scale. So I'm gonna look for the yellow pad that's on pad two for the pentatonic minor scale. So that would be this one because pad two, the yellow pad is on pad two. So I will use the yellow pads and the black pads. The gray pads, I am ignoring. And any order you wanna do, you know, come up with a baseline, it's up to you. And again, all I'm using is my keyboard. Use the book as my guide. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six notes to choose from. And you can use as little or as many notes as you want to. We just ringing it, let's go. We got a baseline, man. Just that simple. Now you might be saying, Jay, can't you just use 16 levels? Yes, you can. Let's drag this here. You can use 16 levels if you want to by, you know, just picking a note. Let's pick this same note and throw this in the keyboard mode. This is what I mean by 16 levels. This is keyboard mode, you know, choose the note. And now, but now the order of the keyboard 
your computer keyboard changes when you do it this way. So let's go to pentatonic or chromatic, which means every single note. See, but the order had changed. You could always just use a scale here too. And let's just try it. Pentatonic scale. See, but that's a different pentatonic scale. That sounds like a major. See, that's the difference. <laughs> let's use minor. See if that works. All right, let's go. Giving y'all options here. You see how I'm kind of like struggling more because it's not really certain. <laughs> That's the difference. I mean, you could use this, but it would take you longer to kind of fiddle around with these notes on what to play. You know what I'm saying? So that's the difference. This is why I like using the other method. But you can do this if you want to. I'm just saying, you know, you got different scales, which are dope. Of course, you can play with your effects. <laughs> I'm just using nothing but my keyboard. So I hope that was helpful, man. I will leave all the links down below for the tools that I'm using and all that good stuff. Once again, I want to thank everybody for supporting your homie, man. And uh, yeah, I'll see y'all next time. So if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. More videos on the way. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out all the links down below. And I will see you guys on the next one. I'm sending peace and positive energy.